Avis, ready mic, and run the whole open music in five, four, three, two, one, take three, mic cue, go. I'm here. He's a national award-winning hip-hop and spoken word artist. The true ambassador for the Bronx music and culture. Thank you, thank you, you for having great me. works. We hear you out there all the time doing thank your you. thing. What's your latest project that you're working on? Working on a project with my DJ, DJ Charlie Hustle. The project is called Master Cleanse. Uh -huh. It has to do with the idea of cleansing ourselves from our masters, our oppressors, and basically addressing a lot of different forms mm -hmm. of oppression, be it racism, sexism, homophobia, yeah. immigrants' rights, all types of things that we feel are very prevalent, not only to the Bronx, but throughout the world. Yeah. That's cool. And what made you come up with something like that? Well, DJ Charlie Hustle approached me. We're part of a collective called the Rebel Diaz Arts Collective, RDAC DX. We have a South Bronx-based hip-hop community center. It's a multimedia space. Yeah. And we met through that space, and he, he wanted to work on a project. I had the idea of Master Cleanse. And it wasn't until we started going through records, putting together beats and lyrics that we decided we wanted to do a full project. Yeah. How important is that to uh, present something like this in the community with the, having to have things in our community for youngsters to get into because if we don't give them something positive to do, they may get into something that's not cool. It's infinitely important. I'm an educator as well as an artist and an activist and I feel as an artist, we should be speaking about these kind of mm -hmm. issues, but beyond that, not just speaking about it, but actually engaging in action that addresses these issues. And this project is a form of me to do that. We're going to do a double disc album, wow. which has 33 tracks, and it's going to have a lot of different collaborations. We recorded some of it in Cuba. We oh. recorded most of it in the South Bronx. And uh, a, a, a big piece of it also is that I'm trying to create a curriculum out of it. So high school students as well as college students mm -hmm. Um, can utilize it within the classroom. What school do you work at? Uh, different schools around oh, the country. Oh, you just go around the different yeah, yeah. schools. Good, yeah. good, good. All right, well, how did you come up with the name Intikana? Intikana means instrument of the sun. It's uh -huh. Quechua. Quechua is the native language of the Incas. Oh, uh, okay. One of the many indigenous people who were yeah. falsely colonized and abused and exploited throughout yeah. history. Yeah, All beautiful yeah. things. So this is wonderful. All right, how important has the, the Bronx been in your development? You know, because, you know, sometimes you grow up in a certain community, you use all that stuff that you grew up with to present what you're presenting today. The Bronx has been instrumental. It's the foundation, not only for me, but for hip hop. It's, it's been a, a vessel. And growing up in the Bronx, I actually wrote a play, a one man hip hop musical, which uh -oh. is entitled Penumbra. And it's all about my experiences having grown up in the Bronx, my childhood, uh -huh. addressing social injustice, self-identity, family, all types of things. We should have brought some of that uh, play on today. Well, I actually have a gift for you. Uh oh. I got a gift for you. Um, I got a dope poster, which you should hopefully enjoy uh, on the play. I don't know if folks can see that. Yeah, but I'll hold This is the poster. And this is, this is the CD to the play. It's the soundtrack for the play. Uh -huh. So I, I brought that for you. Cool. And I brought a nice EP for the new uh -oh, project. Got the EP, the got the EP, <laughs> 11 track EP, a, a sampler. And of yeah, course, I got the best sound stuff. system in my car. I'm not going to tell you which car it is. You got to bump it. You got to bump it. Yeah, I would definitely bump yeah, this. So I got some yeah. stickers, and this is the collective space RDAC BX. So, uh -huh. And the founding group Rebel Diaz, which I work with as well. Ooh. Master Cleanse. How'd you Master come up with Cleanse. that name? Well, there was, a, there was a man by the name of Stanley Burroughs who uh -huh. um, put together the actual Master Cleanse, which is like a diet, quote unquote, which cleanses out the body yes. to clean it and renew it. And I always thought that was very interesting. And I think mm -hmm. one of the biggest viruses of this planet, I mean, unfortunately, is the human race because we destruct the planet so viciously, uh, yeah. you know, and we consume, we consume without limit. That's what capitalism does. Yeah. There is no wow. limit to, there Go is deep. no limit. Go to deep. Go ahead. So, so a, a lot of this project has to do with how, how uh -huh. do we engage it in a way that's powerful. For me, the most powerful way to engage it is through hip hop. Yeah. Now you've been, you shared the stage with a lot of great artists. Who are those people and how was it with that experience? Beautiful. I got to share a stage with a lot of different people and they all have different memories. You know, I remember KRS One who's also from the Bronx. Yeah. I had flew into Cali and he was on stage and um, my homegirl J. Rose Pirelli, she invited me on stage to, you know, rock and he was in the back and he's like, you know, bumping his head and it was yeah. cool because like these are people that I look up to, you know, um, Talib Kweli or, you know, M1 yeah. and Dead Prez, like different folks that I think are 
superbly <clears throat> dope, you know, yeah. and, and, and our spitting consciousness. So I'm proud to have been able to have those opportunities. Do you know the history with uh, KRS-One and Molly Mall? Of course, <laughs> of course. I mean, and that's another thing too, like uh -huh. I have to study the, the foundation of the culture and who, who the pioneers were right. and how like, especially in the Bronx, like, you know, the, 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 the building of highways displacing people and communities right. and what poverty does and what happens when people are in desperate, dire conditions, what comes out of it. Something as beautiful as hip hop. And my yeah. idea is that hip hop's been manifesting for thousands of years, if not before time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and <laughs> I, I truly believe that. And it's the most mm. intercultural culture of uh -huh. all time. Yeah. It doesn't matter what color you are, where you're from, what you mm. believe in, what your sexual orientation is, what, you, what your experiences have been throughout your life. Like you can participate yeah. and you can be an active contributor to the culture. And I think the elements, which is often neglected, the fifth, which is knowledge. And I, yeah. I think that's so important. That's the one I, I really like to stress. Yeah, yeah. That's it's a, deep. That's an interesting concept. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's why it's up to us to do it independently you know, for the public, for people, you know, what's going on in Wisconsin with Scott Walker and the governor yeah. over there, or what's going on in Albany right now. There's things happening all over this country. Oh, yes. And it's crazy how <clears throat> when the media or religion or, you know, education, the, the things that they lack sometimes, like the budgeting, pe yeah. teachers are getting cut all over. I work in a different facility uh, upstate, JCCA, and a lot of people are getting, you know, uh, laid off. Cottages right. where the youth that are in foster homes, in and out of foster homes, or they're on probation, are you know have to get displaced as well. Yeah. So it, it's it's affecting all of us, and and I, I think the question is, and what this new project that I'm working on, Master Cleanse, is trying to speak on is, what is oppression? Right. What is freedom, and how do we achieve it? Mm -hmm. how, how, like, because there's many people's definitions of freedom that include oppression. That's right. You know, the freedom to oppress people. <laughs> you know, so and um, what we're gonna hopefully premiere later in the show is a short clip of a music video which I filmed in yeah. Cuba last year called Amistad. Amistad well, in Spanish means friendship. Yeah. And um, we filmed it out there with this group uh -huh. called Explosión Suprema, uh -huh. uh, which is like super legendary out in like Cuban hip hop in terms of how it began out there. Beautiful. And we filmed it in their birthplace. So it's like from this birthplace to that birthplace. Oh, beautiful. And uh, also two other artists called Indiana and La Real. Ah. So it's a, it's a really cool music video. I shot it along with other folks and I edited it. Intikana in the house in Cuba, and he's right here at our very own studios right here on Open. Hey, yeah. we welcome you to the show. You know, you always got to come back and uh, present some more because you have some history with you. Thank You're you. not just a rapper. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you, you come with knowledge, and, and, and I think our community needs to... Uh, hear some of that knowledge and you need to come and create some of that awareness as to what you're doing, what your organization is all about. Thank you. Uh, can you kick some freestyle? Because they're giving me a wrap up over here. Look, look at the floor manager. I got some words. <laughs> I got some words. I got some words. All right. Good. So on the topic we were discussing, what is freedom? Is it a thought, word, or dream? Can it be none of the above or all three? Is it something we all have but can't see? Is it only for a few? Is there enough for me? If nothing in this life is free, What's the price that we have to pay to be? Is it a choice? Is it given? Is it taken? Is it worth it? What does it look like? Where can I find it? Is it in the projects? Is it out on Wall Street? Is it on a hammock over water at a far beach? A baby in a stroller with a mother that could feed her Who doesn't have to raise a voice, lay a hand and beat her The way she was repeatedly addicted to a needle A father who could be honest and promising a teacher Teachers who could reach her Has she seeking for a reason more than a score Or for test quiz or regions There's a meaning she could feel it She's dreaming and she means it Meaning she could be it if given to me to see Quiet in the back of the class, too shy to raise a hand Most see youth as kids, but they're greater They're reflections of us, they descended from us The us that we were, when we were, who we were It's absurd when the elder tries to minimize their worth Holding on to wisdom with them, wishing they could learn Pass it on, it's important, they're starving for the knowledge Change comes with time, it's not an action, it's a process It's more than just marching, it's what you do after the protest It's giving back to the hood, that makes you conscious What makes an activist activate when they graduate With a bachelor's or a master's From the master's with the master's screaming master Master Woo! The answers when they mastered it. We could shape the world if we could try to change how we imagine it. It's okay to make mistakes, but if freedom's what they say, we don't have time to waste. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Intikana in the house. You gonna come back with more? Yes, make sure you there hit you us go. up. And um, when you gonna take me to WBLS, man? You You're welcome. Me? We got a list going around. We're gonna do like a tour up there, right? But you can make sure you check out Intikana Friday, 8 p.m., yep. 480C Austin Place for his music video release. I'm a star, and it means. Friendship.
and make sure you RSVP in Ticana.net. You know, free all political prisoners, Julian Assange, WikiLeaks, and we here. There you go. Woo!